What is up guys, Nick Hernandez back here with another episode of NHTV and today I've got the Essential Phone PH1. I scored this phone on Amazon.com through the Cyber Monday deal for $399 with the included 360 degree camera modularity. And I just wanted to show you guys a quick unboxing to see what comes inside the box. You know, obviously this phone was released a few months ago at a much higher price tag. Um, I'm gonna be doing my review uh, shortly after I do this unboxing to kind of test it out compared to the price tag that I had versus the original price tag, which I believe was around the $700 mark. So without further ado, I'm gonna start unboxing this bad boy. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy uh, box cutter here and I'm just gonna make a slight cut. Hopefully that's gonna help. Let's see here. And there we go, just enough. So I'll take the protective covering off there. And then let's see how this thing slides out. Right through the side right there. And there it is, the Essential Phone PH1. All in its glory. And let's take a look at some of the other stuff in the box as well. You've got a fast charger included, a micro uh, USB-A to USB Type-C charger. It's a braided cable, so it's pretty nice. Um, pretty nice feeling in the hand. Very nice quality there. And then you've also got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with the USB Type-C adapter um, because this phone does not come with a headphone jack, which is a huge thing for a lot of phones coming out. In 2017, it was kind of first introduced by the courageous Apple Move to remove that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with the iPhone 7. But let's take the phone out, let's take a look at it and all of its glory and first impressions. Um, it is a hefty device, wow. I just picked it up out of the box and it's got a nice hefty frame but it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's a gorgeous little display, it's a gorgeous little device and wow, I'm really stunned by the build quality of this thing and just to kind of run through some of the specs in the front so if we look at the front we have a 5.7 inch 2560 by 1312 display that's a 2k display and you also have corning gorilla glass 5 you have a, what i believe is an 8 megapixel camera at the top uh, correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but that's what you basically see in the front but it's a borderless display um, it's very uh, close to the edges, kind of like the iPhone X or 10, whatever you want to call it nowadays. But I'm going to take this little protective screen off. And that was nice and satisfying. So just looking at the front of the display, you can't really notice too much of the borderlessness. I'll turn it on um, shortly, but I'm going to go around the back and talk a little bit more about the specs. So in the back, you've got a ceramic glass back, and that's basically a kind of, uh, I wouldn't say maybe first for a smartphone, I can't confirm that right now, but I know for a fact that it's one of the very few phones that has a ceramic glass back, which makes it a much tougher device. It's a much harder glass surface. Um, so it's gonna be much more durable in dropping and it's gonna be much more durable in the long run. So really big welcome there. But let me take off this protective screen here. And nice and easy, that comes off. And look how reflective that thing is. It's just beautiful. You know, I got the black color. Um, I was more interested in the white, um, but I ended up going with the black just because I was able to score the deal on Amazon with that. And also, you know, I just wanted to see, you know, kind of pristine what it would look like because pristine, it's a much better looking color than the white, but it is still very nice on its own. But you've got a fingerprint scanner on the back as well. You've got a dual 13 megapixel camera. So one is an RGB, one is a monochrome sensor that's supposed to help better with low light performance. We'll be testing that out. Uh, I know there's been a lot of reviews about the camera, some mixed reviews, but there's been some upgrades. So we'll be testing it out with the upgrades. You've also got two magnetic pins on the back and that's to help support the 360 degree camera, which I'll be showing you shortly. And you've also got a dual tone LED flash and a microphone. So overall, it's just amazing build quality. I haven't touched the pack because I'm trying to prevent myself from getting any fingerprints on it. But going around the sides, this is a titanium backed um, design around the sides and it's got this kind of like black finish to it. So overall, it's just such a stealthy device. I'm gonna try to show you the buttons there, but it's overall just such a stealthy device. It looks really nice in the hand. Um, you've got your USB Type-C charger, you've got your speaker grill, and you've also got the SIM ejector tool here, if you can see it. 
And that's kind of a first that I've seen in a smartphone that they put it on the bottom. Nothing really on the sides, on the top, and on the right hand side, you've got your volume rockers and your power button. So just to run through some more of the specs as I turn on this display. So here we go. We'll take a look at what that looks like shortly. It's an LCD panel, um, so it's not AMOLED. Um, so a little bit of a letdown there, but you know what? There's some LCD panels out there that are looking really good as of late. So just to run through some more of the specs. So this phone comes with a Snapdragon 835 processor, four gigabytes of RAM, a 3040 milliamp hour battery, and also has an Adreno 540 GPU and 128 gigabytes of storage. So it's packed to the gills in terms of the specs on the inside. It's very flagship-like, maybe not with the RAM department, but four gigabytes of RAM is typically the amount of RAM that you would see in a flagship device, up to eight gigabytes of RAM. Processor speed is up there. Adreno 540 GPU is gonna be great for gaming intensive tasks. Um, and this display just looks Gorgeous. I mean, it just looks fantastic. I know you got the little notch at the top, but immediately I'm not even paying attention to that. I'm looking at kind of the colors. I'm looking at everything kind of as its own package. Um, and it just looks really, really nice. It looks really, really nice. It looks really crisp, really good. Um, I'll be testing that out more as I go into my full review. So I'm going to set up this device. Um, and then I want you guys to leave some comments below of things you want to see, if you want me to test out the camera performance, if you want me to test out normal day-to-day -day performance. You know, this phone does come with Android 7.1 Nougat, um, and this will be upgraded to Android Oreo. Um, I know that there's a beta version out there, so I'll be testing that out as well. But if you have any comments, just leave them in the comment section below. But before I go, I'm gonna show you guys the 360 degree camera, see if I can attach it to the back, and then I'll start with my review process at this very moment. So let me put this down to the side over here. Let's grab this 360 degree camera. I already kind of opened it on the back, because I actually received this about two days prior to getting the essential phone. So there it is right there immediately. Um, it's pretty small. It's pretty small compact design. I feel like it could fit in your pocket and you can kind of take it with you wherever you go um, But it's really nice um, Nice build quality, you know everything that I've kind of been impressed so far with this phone within the few seconds of me a few minutes of me kind of seeing it are You know just impressive build quality through and through you know They've got really thought about the design of this phone first um, So very design forward. So I'll see if I can take off some of this protective wrapping that's nice and satisfying. Take this. Nice and satisfying. Let's see if I can attach it to the back of the essential phone so you can see what that looks like. And wow, whew, that was a strong, strong connection, but there it is. That's what it looks like in the back. Um, so not too bad. Um, still adds to the heft of this device. It's a very kind of heavy device for what it is, but you know what? It's got such premium build quality that you just cannot complain about the um, just overall heft in the hand because you know that if you were to drop this device, it may just do some damage to the floor. It may not even do damage to the device itself, but that's what it looks like with the 360 degree camera on there. So without further ado, I'm gonna start my review process. I'm gonna start setting up this phone. Again, if you got comments, leave them down below. Make sure to like my YouTube channel. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, for all my future content uh, you know I've got an iPhone 8 plus review in the works as well so I'll be doing some comparisons with that and I'll be benchmarking it to the phone that I've been using for the past year which is the one plus three I think that's a really good phone to kind of benchmark where you're at between 2017 specs and 2016 specs so I'll be doing that comparison as well so thanks again guys for watching and I'll catch you in my next video thanks bye